Mr. President, Yemi Shah Center with PBS NewsHour. Yes. Why do you think it's appropriate to invite Russia to the G7, given that they've meddled in the 2016 election? And are you worried that if Russia does come to the G7, that it might hurt you politically because it's only going to be a couple months before the 2020 election? I don't care politically. I really don't. A lot of people don't understand this. I ran one election and I won. Happened to be for president. I don't care politically. I'm going to run another election. I think I'm winning based on polls that we see. Uh, whether I win or not, I have to do the right thing. So I don't do things for political reasons. Is it good? Probably not. Maybe it is. I mean, a lot of people are smart. A lot of people say having Russia, which is a power, uh, having them inside the room is better than having them outside the room. By the way, there were numerous people during the G7 that felt that way. And we didn't take a vote or anything, but we did discuss it. My inclination is to say, yes, they should be in. Uh, they were, really, it was a President Obama. I'm not blaming him, but a lot of bad things happened with President Putin and President Obama. One of the things that happened was, as you know, what happened in, with a very big area, a very, very big and important area in the Middle East where the red line was drawn and then President Obama decided that he was not going to do anything about it. You can't draw red lines in the sand. You just can't do it. And the other was in Ukraine having to do with a certain section of Ukraine that you know very well, where it was sort of taken away from President Obama. Not taken away from President Trump, taken away from President Obama. President Obama was not happy that this happened because it was embarrassing to him, right? It was very embarrassing to him. And he wanted to, Russia to be out of the, what was called the G8. And that was his determination. He was outsmarted by Putin. He was outsmarted. President Putin outsmarted President Obama. Wait a minute. And I can understand how President Obama would feel. He wasn't happy. And they're not in for that reason. Now, I'm only thinking about the world and I'm thinking about this country in terms of the G7, whether it's G7, G8. I think it would be better to have Russia inside the tent than outside the tent. Uh, do we live either way? Yes, we live either way. Is it politically popular for me to say that? Possibly not. I think a lot of people would agree with me, frankly, but possibly not. I do nothing for politics. I know a lot of you aren't going to, you're going to smile at that. I do nothing for politics. I do what's right. And people like what I do. And, but I just do what's right. If I wanted to go strictly by politics, I'd probably poll that, and possibly I'd say, oh, gee, I don't want, I don't want Russia in. But I really think it's good for security of the world. It's good for the economics of the world. Remember, they're building a big pipeline in Europe going right up to Germany. And I said to Angela, who I had a great relationship, but I said, you know, you pay Russia billions of dollars, and then we defend you. From Russia, Why and I say, how does that a work? Misleading statement that Russia outsmarted President Obama. Well, he when did. Other countries have said that the reason why Russia was kicked out was very clearly because they annexed Crimea. Why keep repeating what some people would see as a clear lie? Well, Why it was annexed during President. I know you like President Obama, but it was annexed during President Obama's term. If it was annexed during my term, I'd say, sorry, folks, I made a mistake. Or, sorry, folks, President Obama was helping Ukraine. Crimea was annexed during his term. Now, it's a very big area, very important area. Russia has its submarine. That's where they do their submarine work, and that's where they dock large and powerful submarines, but not as powerful as ours and not as large as ours. But they have their submarines. And President Obama was pure and simply outsmarted. They took Crimea during his term. That was not a good thing. It could have been stopped. It could have been stopped with the right whatever. It could have been stopped. But President Obama was unable to stop it, and it's too bad. Go ahead. As the G7 hosts next year, you were allowed to invite other countries to come, guest countries, even though they're not necessarily part of the overall group. Would you consider inviting Vladimir Putin under those well, circumstances? Well, I don't know that he'd accept it. Those are tough circumstances. He was a part of G8, and all of a sudden, he's not out or he's not in. So I think, John, actually, that's a pretty tough thing for him. You know, he's a proud person. Would I invite him? I would certainly invite him. Whether or not he could come, Psychologically, I think that's a tough thing for him to do. You have a G8, now it's a G7, and you invite the person 
that was thrown out really by President Obama and really because he got outsmarted. President Obama, pure and simple. And don't forget, it was not just Crimea. It was the red line in the sand. And Obama said, never violate the red line in the sand. And then they went ahead and they killed many children with gas. It was terrible. And he did nothing about it. I did, but I was there years later. I did something about it, but I was there late.